guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Luz and today's video is my monthly makeup basket. I'm gonna share with you guys all the stuff that I pulled out for me to play with in the month of August. It's all makeup and it's lots of just exciting new things from BoxyCharm in there as well. Um, two things that I did forget to add on there really quick are these two products here from the BoxyCharm. I am wearing these um this one right here ice latte from ace beauty in the eyelids it is what i'm wearing on my lid today and i forgot to include it for today's makeup i did use a lot of the makeup from today's uh, makeup basket i did um enjoy every single thing and i'm excited to play with all of them for the month of august so without further ado what my monthly makeup basket is it's just a way for me to rotate through my makeup see what i have and use everything that i actually own without having the pressure of going out and buying new makeup every single time something new releases so instead I just shop through my stash I got get all the goodies that I want to pull out for the month and it just gets me excited to play with new things even though technically they're not new they I've had them but it's new month and a new time to play with them a new season you know you know if you have not subscribed please go ahead and do so by clicking that subscribe button down below and if you do like this video and want to see more of them give it a thumbs up that way i know you guys want to watch them all right i'll go ahead and get started so here is last month's makeup basket this is from the month of july and it's time to update into our August makeup basket. And we are going to begin with lips. This month in July, honestly, I didn't even really wear a lot of makeup. So I am going to leave some of this stuff in here to play. But some of it will also be moved. So starting off with the lips, I only used these two right here. So I'm going to replace them and get two more. But I like to rotate my makeup and I'm kind of OCD about it. I'm not going to lie. So the new ones have to go in the back. That's where they go. And I'm going to replace them with these two. This first one is the Morphe Shimmy Lip Gloss shimmy 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 it's really just shiny it does have a tiny bit of like a golden reflect to it that is not pulling up on here but it does and then the other one is dose of colors barely there this was in collaboration with miss thing over here there we go this one is more of a pinky gloss from on me at least so these two go right in here. And then for lip liners, in July I used these three here, the LA Girl, two from LA Girl and one from Appeal. This one we got in BoxyCharm last month. So um, we got another lip liner this month, I guess. And these are the new colors for August. Desi Perkins came up with um, a little tutorial on two lip lip liners that she used together and they look absolutely beautiful. And I happened to have those two colors, so I pulled it out and did her little concoction and it was looked really good. So these are gonna be the lip liners for August. And then of course we got this in BoxyCharm. So I'm gonna pull this, these, I'm gonna pull all three of these for August. Okay, um, let's do this little section here next. This one I keep in here, um, so highlight. I pulled these two last month and I'm gonna switch them out for these two. This is, or used to be, when, first highlight, when highlighters first came out, like, or it's not came out, but started getting really popular and everybody was talking about strobing and stuff. Um, this is, or this highlight used to be the talk of everybody because it's so nice. It just melts into the skin. Girl, boy, this is beautiful. So it's Laura Gilded, Laura Geller, Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I got the huge one on QVC and I'm so happy I did. I'm definitely excited to play with this one. And the other one I pulled out is from MAC, 
and this one I feel like I don't know I feel like it's lost its thing for me or I've lost it lost its thing for it but then it always surprises me it's this pink one it's a pink highlight so I'm gonna I always say I don't know if I like it but then when I put it on when I have my makeup on I'm like that's just what I needed like a pinky highlight but that's it right over here this was the uh, um, bronzer I had last month I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out even though I absolutely love it let me see first before I do that what face palette I'm gonna pull out and if it has a bronzer in it hold on so I'm gonna be using the cover effects Perfector face palette and here are the shades. I feel like this is really cool toned So I am gonna keep this one out as well because it's summer and this is like the only time I feel it appropriate to use Mac give me Sun. It's staying in here guys Told you some of this stuff we're repeating. I hardly wore any makeup in July. So we're gonna pack it on. <laughs> this one, this is the Milk Lip Cheek in Work. It's just a really pretty pinky color. Perfect for just throwing on if, I was, I did wear this a couple times this, but I'm gonna keep it there. Okay, got that. For blushes, these are last month's. I am gonna switch them out because I love blush. The first one I'm pulling out is MAC Perfectly Lit. And it's got a mixture of like terracotta pinky shades. That's it swatched on my finger. And there it is on my hand swatched. It is very terracotta pinky with a little bit of gold, but it might be from a different product now. It looks like, yeah, a little bit of gold in there. Really pretty on the cheeks. Gives me like a really like flush look and it does have a little bit of sparkle which I don't mind but I do see that I don't have a matte. Oh, is there a matte one in here. Oh yeah, we have a matte blush. Oh and by the way, this highlight on this palette, gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And the other blush is a another shimmery blush i gotta think for blushes guys and in the summer shimmery blushes i just love and let's see it might have been the worst place let me start another little swatch over here this i like to use more like a topper so pretty look at it oh i love this and this is wet and wild it was for a limited edition and it's in the shade it's usually around here. Hummingbird Hype. Oh, this was from the Hummingbird Collection, I think, or something. I don't know, but gorgeous. Absolutely love this. So, for the cream highlight, time to switch it out. I'm going to go with Tar Tardius Pro Glow and Exposed. Oh, it looks good. In you go, girl. All right, powder, um, pressed powder. Let me see, I feel like this match is really good right now, so I'm gonna keep that. And I did use a Spute recently. These two stay because they're part of Project Pan. The Norvina palette, I feel like I hardly used you, girl. This one's gonna go, I did get this last month in BoxyCharm, I did use, I also did use my ColourPop. Cute AF, so actually let's switch out Miss Norvina for another Anastasia one. Okay, eyeshadow palettes. This month I'm pulling out Pure Festival palette. Very appropriate for summer. This Nightingale palette from Pretty Vulgar. Very much cool tones. Uh, did you see Kim K's new release of her eyeshadow palettes? One of them is all uh, pure cool tones however they're all matte this has some shimmer in it but it also has lots of pretty um cool toned shadows so pull this little sucker out 
And we got the Crown eyeshadow palette. It has lots of those warm matte colors. Pretty, pretty, pretty. For a little bit of color and play, I had to pull out Miss Huda Beauty. And this is her electric palette. Yes, this I can definitely work into any of those new, um, neutral colors or brown colors, whatever you want to call it. And if I really want to have some fun, I got cut off. But anyway, here I'm putting these definitely in. And last, Miss Anastasia Soft Glam. Totally in here with the rest of them. So doing, gonna be doing a lot of brown looks, a lot of fun looks this month as well. And moving on to the next part of the basket, we've got MAC Prep, and, Mac Prep and Prime staying in there. The Smashbox Primer Water staying in there. I got the Milani Makeup Last. And this little sample size of the Bare Minerals Dew Mist also staying here. And we already did lips. Let's move on to the face section. I am gonna keep Huda Beauty out here because it matches me perfect. And I am keeping the, um, these here are gonna stay. For primer, I am gonna switch out the CoverGirl. It wasn't a bad primer at all, but it's time to switch her out. If I can get the rest of her sisters to come out of here. Here we go. We're using from CoverGirl to CoverGirl, <laughs> um, the True Blend Base Smoothing Primer. I'm gonna add this one in here. Concealer, I thought I was gonna finish this out, but you know what, I'm gonna keep it until I tap out, and then when I do, I can get me a new concealer. What should I choose? I'm excited, I'm excited. This stays in here, contour. This I've been just keeping in here to use, but honestly, I'm not gonna use it, so I'm just gonna put it away in the little extra makeup basket or bag I have. This I'm gonna toss. This I'm gonna keep, stays in here. It's one of those like everyday things. Why well, don't have a lip gloss there that does not belong? This stays in here, my fine eyebrow. And of course the little Becca setting powder thing. And you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna finish this up and then I'll put in the new one in here. This does not belong here, girl. You're out of your place. And this one, I uh, yeah. I feel like um, I hardly use these foundations, and these are the deepest ones I have. So if I don't use this this summer, then I'm gonna get rid of it. So I'm just gonna keep it up there for now. And that's all set for this month's monthly makeup basket. Yay! New makeup to play with. I'm excited. I'm super duper stoked.